Track reviews. Hello, my needle drops. Anthony Fantano, the internet's busiest music nerd, here with another edition of Track Reviews, where we talk about the latest in rock, pop, electronic, and experimental music of the independent persuasion. <sighs> now, as I said in yesterday's video, which you can watch if you click over there. Mogwai has a new track out from their upcoming LP, Hardcore Will Never Die, But You Will. I asked you guys if I should review it, and I got a ton of answers saying, Duh, yeah, but... Hold on, before I go on any further, I want to mention, I hope everybody had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. I saw Glasser play live, got their CD. It's pretty good might make some time in the near future to review it. I don't know. Anyway, in case you don't know them, Mogwai is a Scottish post-rock band, and this upcoming album will in fact be their seventh studio LP. The song to have come out is Rano Pano, pronouncing correctly. There's a link down there in the D-Box where you can hear it, and here we go. On this track, guys, I'm going to say something that may leave some people who are not fans of Mogwai yet in the dust, but I really can't help but think back to this band's last album, The Hawk is Howling. And what kind of surprised me about that LP, especially the first song that was released from that album, The Sun Smells Too Loud, was that there were a lot of straightforward sounds on that LP. I feel like I really didn't know what to make of that album. I'm a little iffy on that album, in fact. I feel like the band is making some kind of attempt to distance themselves from that stereotype that all they do is play music that starts soft and finishes loud, and that's it. And I will admit, I'm a fan of this band, but in that respect, these guys have been a little bit of a one-trick pony. Some of the group's most popular songs are of that style. Most of the tracks on their new live LP are of that style. But this song was way, way, way more straightforward. I mean, I feel like I could have shown this to somebody who wasn't a fan of the band and the beginning wouldn't bore them, or they wouldn't be sitting there thinking, hmm, when is the song actually going to start? When is anything actually going to occur? Because this thing, if you're going to call it post-rock, there really is more rock than post here. Though the song does get a little louder as it goes on, it starts off pretty voluminous right at the start with a distorted guitar. The first thing that caught me was the extremely, extremely odd, rigid melody, which I wouldn't say is catchy, but somehow ends up being so anyway through how weird it feels, through how robotic it feels. And I first caught an eargasm on this track as soon as the drums came in. The guitars are playing the melody, the keys are playing the melody, just this big wall of sound is occurring. Maybe not massive, but pretty big. And there's all of this texture just kind of floating throughout it. Not really all of this imagery of cinematic climaxes just reaching for the stars that you usually get on a Mogwai track. Though I'm sure the soft, too loud formula is never going to leave Mogwai's wheelhouse, they have been making steps toward some more accessible sounds, some more accessible structures. I feel like this is the first time they've really, really succeeded and pulled together something that is as dramatic as it is kind of easy to swallow. <coughs> I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this thing. I'm liking it, liking it a lot. Sub Pop is about to drop a single for it in January. I might pick that up too. Totally, I'm digging this more than the first track to drop from The Hawk is Howling, and I'm expecting bigger things of this album, expecting bigger things of this band, and I hope you guys are digging this as much as I am. Let me know what you think of the track. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? And what should I review tomorrow? Should I review this? Should I? Let me know. Anthony Fantano, Mogwai, Rano Pano, forever.